Good morning, Big Fork High School. It's Monday, September 19th. I'm Zoe. And I'm Evelyn. And this is NC Squared. VHS, we hope you all had a great summer and are settling back into classes quickly. Seniors, make sure to watch your email for scholarship updates and due dates. The PEO scholarship is due September 30th, the Heinzman scholarship is due October 18th, and the Coca-Cola scholarship is due October 31st. Get those completed soon. Juniors and seniors, the deadline for National Honor Society applications is September 23rd. To apply, you must have a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher. If you're interested or have any questions, talk to Ms. Benson. Lou from Job Services will be here tomorrow to help students with any questions about careers, resumes, and more. Sign up with Mrs. Munson. The PSAT is being held on October 12th for sophomores and juniors. If you're planning on taking the test, there is a fee of $16. Please turn this into the office and register with Ms. Munson. Waivers for fees are available as needed. Don't forget, if you bought a yearbook and have not picked up a supplement, head over to Mr. Hollow's to grab one. Breaking news! All right, my name is Mr. Pizzola. I teach high school and middle school health and PE. Okay, if you could turn into any animal, what would it be and why? I'd want to be a bird, probably an eagle, because I'd want to fly around. What's your favorite highlighter color? My favorite highlighter color is got to be a classic yellow. <laughs> okay, before becoming a teacher, what was your dream job? Uh, when I was a little kid, I'd be a like, pro athlete, and then I ended up being 5'9 and not very fast, so that went out the window. Um, and then I always wanted to be a teacher, a coach, and if I wasn't going to do that, I'd want to be a pilot. Hi, I'm Mr. Bauman and I teach English. Okay, who's your biggest inspiration? In teaching? Just like in general. My biggest inspiration would be Jesus. His selfless attitude and the way that he does things for other people it has always been inspirational to me and I consider him to be the best example as a teacher as well. Okay, what's your favorite shape? My favorite shape would probably be the shape of my wife. <laughs> Don't know if that counts. What's your favorite TV show and movie or movie? Um, one of the TV shows that I've probably watched the most times is The Office. Hi, my name's Eric Boykert. I'm the choir teacher here at the high school and also for middle school and elementary. I teach grades 5 through 12. Who's your favorite celebrity? Um, gotta go with Will Ferrell. Can I say John C. Riley as well? Because I just like the combination of the two. So. <laughs> um, how would you describe yourself in one word and what? How about I'm going to say dependable. Dependable. I usually I don't like to miss classes. I, I know how like especially when I teach my choirs, I really want them to um, be there and be involved with everything. So if I miss out on something and I get a substitute then I'm not involved with the process, so it's good for consistency. So I like to be dependable. Okay, if you had one day left to live, how would you spend it? A good round of golf, and uh, definitely maybe a steak dinner. Um, oh, I like shrimp, so maybe it's like some surf and turf, you know? So gotta have some, some variety with it, so. And definitely uh, on the beach. I've never been to Hawaii, so let's just say it was in Hawaii too. So. I'm Mrs. Castrita, and I'm new to Big Fork. I teach life skills. 
here on the high school campus. And if you could be Batman or Robin, which one would you be and why? I guess Batman, because he's got a cool car. Who is your favorite singer? Uh, that's a tough one. Right now, today, I will have to say Van Morrison. What president would you like to eat dinner with and why? That would have to be Ronald Reagan. I don't know why. Probably because I saw him on TV all the time when I was a kid. And I like him. Hi, my name is Miss Butler. I teach photography, graphic design, and animation. Also, moves from the heart. Okay. What's your favorite Oh, yeah. Like a fork, a spoon? Yeah. A fork. I do fork on everything. Unless it's soup. Um, what is or what's your favorite boy or girl, girl band? I'll show you Oh, totally into like screamo stuff. So, Falling in Reverse was my favorite boy band in high school. And last question: How would you solve problems if you were from Mars? Who came up with these? We both did. Of course you did. Thank you. How would I solve a problem if I was from Mars? I feel like that would be like going to a foreign country where I didn't speak their language. So, learn by social cues and other people's emotions slash reactions to things. Hi, my name is Mr. Cummings and I teach biology, chemistry, and anatomy and physiology. Okay, what's your favorite Skittle color? My favorite Skittle color is red, I think. Do you brush your teeth with hot or cold water? Cold water, definitely. What do you think of garden gnomes? Don't forget there's a ball feeding in Mr. Halls. Garden gnomes are the pinnacle of science. They are the most important thing in the world and should be everywhere. Today, JV and varsity volleyball both play at home against Troy. Tomorrow, cross country competes in Thompson Falls. On Thursday, girls and boys soccer will play away in Whitefish and all volleyball teams will be home against Eureka. Friday, football heads to Thompson Falls. On Saturday, boys and girls soccer have home games against Libby. Sports are big this week, so make sure to wish our Vikes and Vals good luck in the hallways and come and support them at their home games. Today, send birthday wishes to Coulter Jessup. That's all the announcements we have for you today, VHS. From NC Squared, I'm Zoe Sellers. And I'm Evelyn Vijo. Have a wonderful week, and please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance 